Hi there, welcome to Without Code. My name is Steve Harris, and today we're going to look at a powerful new way to hook up your custom domain to a Without Code website. This new method uses A records instead of 301 redirects. This makes it easier to hook up your domain from a variety of different registrars and adds better stability and SEO. We originally recommended that users hook up their domain to an architect website by adding a CNAME entry, and that hooks up the www version, and in a 301 redirect for the naked or root domain to forward to that www version. The issue we have with that is when it comes to SSL certificates and secure sites. So you'll notice if I remove the www dot on this site, it's not going to load. This is just going to sit and spin forever and eventually it times out. So using our new A record method, this is fixed. There should be a slight SEO bump as well to using our new method. So I do recommend you swap your sites over as soon as you can. There shouldn't be any downtime if we do this correctly. So let's go ahead and set this up on the existing site here. So first my site is registered through GoDaddy. So I'm in GoDaddy here and I'm gonna go down to manage DNS. And then you can see I have all of my records. So my existing CNAME record is there. And if I scroll down to the bottom, there is domain forwarding set up to forward to that www version. So what we need to do is let's reference our custom domain doc that we have on our site. If I scroll down here, it says we've got create the CNAME record. Well, we've done that and that's the same, so we can leave that. Now we need to point the root of our domain by creating two A records. And you can see the A records listed here. So I'm going to keep scrolling down past the CNAME section. And here I am at pointing the root domain to www. So the way that we need to do that is add two A records. So the type is an A record, the host is an at symbol. If the at symbol does not work, just leave the field blank. And last, we just need to enter the IP address of that A record. There are two A records we need to enter. So if I jump back to GoDaddy and I scroll up to my records, you'll see I have an existing A record here and it doesn't look like it can be deleted. The reason this record exists is because forwarding is set up. So what I need to do to remove that existing record, and you should remove A records that are based on the root domain, an A record up here that says name and it's pointing somewhere else like mail or something like that is not a problem. But if you have another A record that has an at symbol or it's blank here, it is going to conflict with the records we need to enter. So you need to remove that. So I need to remove this and the way I can do that is by deleting that forwarding out. So let me scroll down, click edit on forwarding and click delete. So once I've done that, forwarding is gone, I'm gonna refresh the page. And now you can see that A record just says it's parked and I can delete it. So I'm gonna click edit and delete. Okay, so my existing A record is gone. Now let's add two new ones. So I'll click add, type A record. The host is going to be an at symbol. And then of course, just copy the IP addresses we need. So there's the first one. Just like that, time to live can stay as the default and ours should be fine and click save. And let's add our next one. The at symbol, copy the new IP. And click save. So our new records are in place. Now we just need to wait for this to propagate and then we'll regenerate our SSL certificate. Of course, the way we can check to see if this is propagated Let's use our DNS check tool and we need to enter in graphics.ninja in that field. I'm going to leave www out because we are checking the root domain. Let's just make sure this is set at the A record and click search. So you can see it's actually already propagated really quickly. I find that A records seem to propagate much faster. So this looks good already. So let's go ahead and regenerate our SSL certificate. So if I look in my site here and I go to settings and site SSL, you'll see because I've made those domain changes, it says we can recreate the SSL certificate. So I'm just gonna click recreate. It says it'll be set up within 15 minutes and let's click close. So we just need to wait a few minutes here and then we'll test our domain on all variations. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes since we regenerated our SSL certificate and let's check on the site. So the site's still loading nicely on the www.version. The reason for that is because we did not touch that CNAME entry. 
And now let's just remove that so we go to the root domain or naked domain and make sure you're using SSL. So HTTPS, then the domain and hit enter. So you can see it worked. It automatically redirected us to the www version. So that's what those two A records are going to do. That's the expected behavior. Users will not see the site resolve at this root or naked domain. It's always going to point everything to one single site. Another reason we've implemented this change is because we've now added something in the source code called a canonical tag. So you can see here this link in the code and it says canonical and it points to the absolute URL and it's the www version. So what we're telling Google with this link is the original true source of information for this site is this full URL. So that's why we like to have those A records in place and to make sure that all visitors are going to this exact URL because we're telling Google this is the best domain for them to index. So that's all that's involved for moving our domain over to use those A records instead of a redirect. Just to recap some common trouble spots you'll see, you need to make sure you only have these two A records pointed at the root domain. It's okay to have other A records if they point elsewhere, but if there's another A record in here when we do our DNS check on the root or naked domain for an A record and click search, we need to only see two IP addresses included here. We can't have three or four or else you're going to have issues. IP addresses act like mailing addresses for your home, and if you've got addresses pointed at different locations, things are going to get confused. Lastly, make sure you are regenerating your SSL certificate and give your site a republish once you do. It'll take at least 15 to 30 minutes, but it may be longer depending on the queue ahead of your site to generate the SSL. The last thing I'll mention is when you do go ahead and test this, make sure that you do a cache clear or a true hard refresh of the site. And if you've just made the DNS changes within an hour or so, Give it some time before you thoroughly test it. It can still take a little while before that DNS is propagated throughout the web. So after 24 hours, if something's not working right, send us a note and we'll help. Thanks again for watching and best of luck switching your domains over to use our new A records.